What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Season of the Arrivals video in today's vid. I'm going to be going over a returning sidearm from the Iron Banner called the Fool's Remedy. Now the archetype of this weapon is Suros Rapid Fire. So yes, this is a Suros weapon. Uh, basically, it's a, an extremely fast firing sidearm. That's pretty much. <laughs> So first, let's go over PvE. Let's whip out the perk pool here. Uh, Sight-wise, I feel like sights don't really matter, so we're just going to completely scrap those. Sorry. Um, <laughs> let's go over the magazines here. Uh, highlighter ones they have is extended mag, which is good. Appended mag, which is good. You get that increase to your magazine size. Extended mag lowers your reload speed, though. And... Uh, yeah, something like light mag, which is okay too. High caliber rounds won't be bad. You get to stagger some enemies. Ricochet rounds is always just a solid option uh, in general. Let's go over trade column number one. I feel like feeding frenzy is going to be the top one here. Basically, uh, the more kills you get, the faster reload you get. Bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. Uh, the highlighted ones they have is four times a charm, which on the sidearm isn't going to be very great. And then something like subsistence, which I don't think that that would be horrible. But if we look at trait column number two, it's going to be kind of pointless considering probably the best PvE perk on here is going to be just regular old kill clip, which you're going to want to reload with that. So probably pair something like Feeding Frenzy and Kill Clip. Now, I will say that looking at the sidearm and the perks, it is not meant for PvE. There are definitely way better weapons to use, especially even sidearm wise. There are definitely way better weapons you can use other than this one. So that's why I think the more interesting thing about this weapon is going to be going over PvP. Now, to be honest, in PvP, I really, really like this thing. And, not to brag, I pretty much had the god roll on this sidearm. So I had the sight that maxed out the range. I had ricochet rounds, which increases range and stability, and you get the bouncing rounds off the walls and whatnot, which is cool. I had moving target, which you move faster while aiming when you're moving, so that's always good. And then trade column number, number two, I had range finder, which when you aim down sights, you do it does give it a little bit more zoom in on the sights, but you do get an increase to range when you're uh, aiming down sights on the sidearm. And since it is rapid fire, you're not going to get a lot of range on it regardless. So range finder will definitely help you out in that area. Now, I want to see some other perks that you might want. Something like high caliber rounds won't be bad either uh, for a magazine. Uh, pulse monitor won't be horrible uh, either. And what's interesting, if you look at trade column number two, quick draw, uh, that won't be bad considering it is a sidearm. I think quick draws is a good perk to have on uh, certain weapons overall. But since this is a rapid fire sidearm, you're not lacking in handling speed, so I don't think quick draw is your most viable option here. Something like a kill clip wouldn't be bad either. You know, get a kill, reload, get that extra damage, be able to drop them even faster. Uh, so there are two new perks on the sidearm and some of the other Iron Banner weapons called Iron Gaze, which massively improves weapon target acquisition at the cost of weapon range. And then Iron Grip, massively improves weapon stability at the cost of reload. Now, I think Iron Grip would be better than Iron Gaze for most weapons, since considering you can put on a reload, uh, like a reload uh, mod on your gauntlets. I couldn't think of the freaking word for it. So if you need a sidearm reloader, you can just put on sidearm reloader and it'll reload it even faster. But I think specifically for the sidearm and trade number two, you're going to want to go with Range Finder. I'll tell you what, this sidearm felt really, really good in PvP. Um, there's definitely been a change to the Suro sidearms since uh, year one of Destiny 2. They feel way more stable. I, I don't know what it is. I really like this one. Like, you can definitely hit consistently with it, and with having Rangefinder on it, it just makes it even more sticky and be able to do more damage at a longer range. I really have zero complaints about the sidearm when it comes to PvP. Overall, though, I'm glad they brought this sidearm back, especially with random rolls. You can get, you can definitely get a god roll on this weapon. Fair, like man it is just i don't know i i literally have zero words like i i'm just at a loss you can you can see from the gameplay it is just a pretty solid stable very fast ttk sidearm boom all right guys looks like we're at the end of the video just want to cover three things with you Number one, about support. If you're looking for the number one best way to support me, there's a link below that'll take you to a four minute video that I made a while ago. If you wanna go watch that, that'd be awesome. If not, it's definitely not gonna hurt my feelings. You can also subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video, follow me on social media with the links below and all that great jazz. Number two, regarding social media, I have a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and and a few others. If you would like to keep up to date on Destiny 2 related content, be sure to use those links below to find me on those platforms. And number three, going over the clan, if you're looking to join my clan, we have some spots open uh, on all platforms. We're looking for active players and community members in the Destiny community. And typically, we like to play casual PvE and PvP a majority of the time. I'm definitely all about that solo grind, but I'm willing to definitely play with people in the community. Like, definitely willing to do that. If you're looking to join, there's a link to the clan page 
on the bungie.net site below and all you have to do is request to join and i'll approve it hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll catch you next time